What's up golfers? It's your boy Brandon and welcome back to New Nine Golf. Today we're taking a look at the MGI Zip Navigator. All right, guys, I'm pretty familiar with the MGI electric push carts. My mom previously had the MGI X3. My dad has the X5, and now your boy has the Zip Navigator. For MGI, this is the top of the line with the remote control, the biggest battery, and a ton of features. It's obviously too big to open and unbox in my office. What I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna take it outside, assemble it, tell you what I see and the features that it offers. I'm also gonna be loading it into both of my cars. I'm gonna load it into an SUV and my smaller car. So you guys at home, if you're gonna be traveling with this course to course, you can see how it fits into a vehicle. At the end of the video, I'm gonna take it onto the golf course and use all of its features, check out the functionality, and give you my overall impression of what I think of the MGI Zip Navigator. I'll meet you guys outside. All right guys, welcome to my backyard. As you can see, I don't back onto my own private golf course, but if you hit subscribe, I'll be that much closer. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this thing out of the box. Uh, be forewarned, I've already opened it a couple times, so everything is kind of loosely in here. MGI does a much better job of packaging it so it's nice and tight, but I'm gonna start taking everything out. I'm gonna put all the accessories to the side and then I'll assemble everything so you can see what it looks like once it's complete. So let's get into it. Okay, so we'll take out the tires. It's a whole bunch of accessories. So right off the bat, we have a cup holder. We have a phone holder or GPS mount, a screw to screw in some of our accessories. We have an umbrella holder. We have the charger. The charger will go right into a wall outlet, so you don't need to buy anything extra to charge the unit. We have a scorecard holder, and it will also hold a couple balls, some pencils, maybe a, a ball marker or two. We have our instructions. And then we have our battery. This is the big uh, lithium ion battery. It's not too heavy. I'd say it's maybe, maybe five pounds. I'm sure there's an actual stat on it, but it's not too heavy at all. And then last but not least, our full unit. So what other accessories are missing? We have just a small multi-purpose clip and another screw. And that's pretty much everything inside the box. So I'm gonna start putting this together and I'll walk you guys through it. Okay, so as far as assembling this out of the box, that took me like 15 seconds. <laughs> Once I knew where everything went, how it unfolded, super easy. Now what I'm gonna do is put the accessories on and then at the end, I'll put on my bag. Okay guys, so this isn't really a video on how to assemble everything. I wanted to just do a full overall review. I thought I would hook up every accessory just so you can see what's offered. But the point of this is to really just review it and give you my thoughts on the quality and its functionality. All right guys, I forgot about one accessory and it's probably the most important one, which is the remote. The remote was actually tucked underneath the zip navigator. So I just had to pull it out, but I forgot that this is the last accessory, which is what we're gonna be using a ton to control the zip navigator. Now I have all the accessories hooked up and it was so easy to assemble everything. From taking it out of the box, understanding what accessory is what, putting them on the cart, it was super easy. If I was to rate it out of five for assembly, I would give it a five out of five, that it was so easy. Looking at everything, I can tell that this is of high quality. I've seen a handful of other remote control carts. I might myself have an inexpensive remote control cart. It's about half the price of this and about half the quality. So, so far I can tell that you're getting your money's worth just as far as the parts that it's made with. The true test is gonna be how it drives on the course. So lastly, I'm gonna hook my bag up. Let me grab my golf bag and I'll see how it hooks onto the Zip Navigator. Okay guys, I got my bag hooked on to the Zip Navigator. Now my bag is a carry bag, so it has the arms or the stands, the leg stands. In previous carts, I've always had troubles using a stand bag because they're meant for carrying. So I think the bag that is gonna sit the most flush for the Zip Navigator and probably every other electric push cart is a cart bag. Because they don't have the arms, it'll sit more flush. I can probably play around with the cart a little bit more just to find where it's gonna sit the most flush. But overall for my specific bag going on this cart, it just doesn't sit as flush as I would hope. And it's probably because it's a carry bag. I'll mention as well, if you guys plan to use a carry bag on one of these push carts, 
the bottom sometimes has the lever outside of the bag and that causes a ton of problems because where the bottom of the bag sits will activate that kickstand and your arms or the legs on the bag will be constantly activated. You can see mine are already starting to activate just on the way that it sits. So again, I'd say it's more the bag's fault, but that's something to consider that you might have to buy a different bag if you're planning on getting a electric cart. So there are two stickers on the cart. This first one just says before use, release the fourth wheel. The fourth wheel is down below the battery. So we activated this fourth wheel, which is gonna give us way better balance on the course. So the second sticker down here is just telling us where to find the remote. So we found the remote, that was our last accessory, but those are the only two stickers I see on the Zip Navigator. All right guys, so the last test we have to do before we take it on the golf course is put it in the trunk of a car. So I'm gonna go load it into my SUV and my small car so I can show you guys what to expect when loading it into a vehicle. Okay guys, fitting the Zip Navigator into my SUV is no problem. I didn't have to take any wheels off, didn't have to take the battery off, no problems. But if I had my golf clubs with me, I'd have to either put down one of the half seats or throw my clubs in the back seat. So it fits. Um, again, it's a pretty big unit as if you're used to playing with a bush cart, you just gotta kind of figure what works best for you. But it fits in my small car and my SUV. All right guys, that wraps up my at-home test. We'll take it to the golf course and we'll test it out there. See you guys over there. What's up guys, we made it back to the golf course and we got the Zip Navigator out of the car and we put on Felix, our producer's bag. As you saw in my backyard, the my bag, my Vessel bag, didn't fit comfortably on the Zip Navigator. So if you are considering getting one of these, I 100% recommend that you get a cart bag that they'll just sit much more flush and they just aren't very kind to stand bags. For this bag in particular, we had to use the Velcro straps to keep the legs in because if we're gonna go on the course, those legs are gonna be flying around. So again, if you're considering one of these, you definitely want a cart bag. Okay, so down here is our battery. If I'm gonna leave it off, there's a lever that stays up, and if I wanna turn it on, I can push it down and it snaps into place. That's how you turn it on and off. Okay guys, there's three different buttons on this. The far left one, it's changing this between, it says like distance A, B, and C. Far one is gonna change between kilometers and miles, so to whatever your preference is. And then this middle dial will change our speeds. So as you can see, I'm turning the dial, it goes all the way to nine. So nine is gonna be our fastest speed. One is the slowest. There's two ways to drive this. If I just push this dial on whatever speed it is, it's gonna start moving. So I'll put it on one and you'll see it move. Okay guys, first test. So I'm gonna use the remote control because that's why I want it. This thing turns on a dime. Right now I only got it on like the three speed. Like I said, it goes all the way up to nine. So far I find it like a little touchy. So if I hit it just once to the right, once to the left, it seems to correct really well. And with it having that fourth wheel in the back, once we hit some hills on the course, we're gonna see that make a huge difference. So, so far controlling it's actually been really easy. Okay, so if I want the cart to go in reverse, I have to hold the down button the whole way. If it was going straight, I can just tap it once and the gears will kick in and it'll keep going until I hit stop. But if I wanna bring it back, I have to hold down the back button. So one small critique that I do have for the Zip Navigator is on the remote control, I wish this stop button was in the middle of the controls. Because as you're navigating, you're, you know, you're pressing up, down, left, right, and when you want it to stop all of a sudden, it would make sense for it to be in the middle, but you gotta move your thumb down. So, so far in just playing around with it, I've wanted it to stop, and I kind of panic where I'm like, where's the stop button? So, so far in just this being my first day using that, that's like one of the only critiques I have so far. Where we are now is we're on the way to the first tee box, and this is gonna be a great test for the Zip Navigator because we have a huge hill to go up. So I'm gonna use only the remote control to make it to the top of the hill. Once I get there, I'll give you my feedback on what I think of getting it up there. So I'll meet you guys at the top of the hill. So because this is such a steep hill, the front wheel comes off the whole time I've been coming up here. Thankfully, it has that fourth wheel in the back, which is keeping it stable. So thank God for that fourth wheel or else it'd be a uh, pop a wheelie the whole way up here. So making it to the top of the hill with this Zip Navigator was super easy. It was really easy to control, even though that front wheel was off the ground the entire time. That fourth wheel in the back made it super easy and very controllable to get it to the top of the hill. 
So we'll go through the accessories again really quick. We have our umbrella holder. If it decides to rain on us, we can just put our umbrella in there and it's super easy. Got a drink holder. We already have a vodka soda in here as we're about to start our round. We have the scorecard holder and it also fits some balls and a couple other accessories. And then there's a clip in here, which they call kind of just a multi-purpose clip. Let's say you wanted to hang your towel in here and you don't want to keep it on your bag. You could easily just put your towel there. And that's just one of the many uses for that clip. We also have the cell phone or GPS holder. This will expand or close super easy. And overall, I think everything is really good quality and driving it so far, I am pretty impressed with the Zip Navigator. I wouldn't trust myself with this proximity with my other cart. So far what's awesome is that I don't have to be very close to the MGI to navigate it from the remote controls. I can be like 100 feet, 200 feet. I don't know what the total proximity is of how far I can be, but it's been so easy to control that the card is now 200 feet in front of me. I can press stop and it stops on a dime. So that's pretty cool. Well, that's the best three wood I've ever hit. Okay guys, overall the Zip Navigator is a fantastic, fantastic electric cart. From the remote controls, to the accessories, to the assembly, the battery, everything, they knock it out of the park. It's fantastic. The only thing I wish is that I didn't need a cart bag, but I think if you're gonna commit to one of these, you might as well get a cart bag anyway. Overall, I'm giving this two thumbs up. I would 100% recommend this. If you guys get one of these, I'd love to hear your feedback of what you think of the Zip Navigator. Thanks again for watching this review. We'll check in with you next time.